Eh, tengo por aquí un vídeo que tiene 2,4 millones de vistas y está de 44 en tendencias de vídeo a pesar de estar en inglés, que son 44 minutos de Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy es el juego de Harry Potter que va a salir para PlayStation. El juego tiene pinta de ser un juegazo terriblemente bueno. Creo que va a salir también para ordenador. No va a salir solamente para Play. Va a salir para ordenador, para PC también, ¿eh? creo. Eh... El juego tiene una pinta excepcional. Y os voy a, y os voy a enseñar... Perdonad que acabo de ver agua y me ha... se me ha metido por el conducto incorrecto. Os voy a enseñar, no vamos a ver 44 minutos ni de puta coña, eso no va a pasar, pero vamos a ver un ratito del gameplay nuevo que acaban de subir de Hogwarts Legacy. La pinta es espectacular. O sea, lo que vais a ver ahora en primicia, que soy yo el primero del mundo que lo va a enseñar, solo ha habido 2.199.999 personas antes, o sea, nadie lo ha visto prácticamente, o sea, vamos a verlo eh, en vivo, y en directo, y tú callarte, eh... Y aquí lo tenemos, Hogwarts Legacy Game Play Show Case. Subtítulos en español. Are you fucking ready? Ay, que no se estoy pinchando nada. Que me fue un petardo. Un momento. Os tengo que pinchar. Esto. Y os tengo que pinchar esto. Ahí está. Allá vamos. Presten atención, señores. Porque se podría venir. ¡Nueve ¡Oh! y tres cuartos! ¡Se fumaron en Polonia! ¡Quiero mi edición de coleccionista! ¡Mandadmela! ¡Mándadmela! What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first Hogwarts Legacy gameplay stream. I'm Chandler Wood, community manager here at Avalanche Software, and we've got a lot of really exciting stuff to show you today. But before we get into showing you the game and gameplay, I have a few wonderful guests that, that I need to introduce you to. Uh, first up, we have Hola. a community guest. <coughs> He brings you the latest and greatest in Hogwarts Legacy content. Uh, he's the local Merlin conspiracy theorist. Uh, guilty as charged. Yes. <laughs> One half of Expecto. Go bueno, a ver, esta James parte White. yo creo que la voy a mandar a la mierda. Lo siento mucho. Lo siento mucho. Os aprecio, respeto, pero quiero ver. We Nos wanted voy. to uh, let you create this character. So, Andrew who is going to be doing all of our gameplay capture today. Uh, <laughs> no hay más volumen, está muy bajo. He's uh, going to be handing you the controller. Oh my gosh. All right, I won't break anything. <laughs> all right, so what are we looking at right here on this screen? Um, these are your presets. So a lot like uh, other games, there's there's some initial settings that you can put up Put, uh, choose for your character. And... Wow, literalmente cualquiera de ellos podría ser un eh, estudiante de Hogwarts, eh? Literalmente cualquiera de ellos podría ser un estudiante de Hogwarts. Um, that just kind of get them Tienen una cara de fricardos. Todos. Be who you want to be and what you want to change. Oh man. And then once you're in that ballpark, all the other tabs let you dial that in. Uh, be exactly who you want to be. It's our our goal with this is to make sure that for anyone that fantasized about bringing themselves to the school for yeah. the very first time, yeah. that they feel like they have the options in order to represent who they are and and essentially bring themselves to Hogwarts or whatever character they want to bring to Hogwarts. Oh my God, and options galore. Uh, do you mind if I try to put myself in here right quick? It's all about okay, you Okay, 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 all right, all right. So, oh, okay, yeah, that's me, that's me. We're here, we're here, that's me right there. All right, so let's... ¿Y por qué? ¿Y no lo puedo hacer a uno muy gordo? No me digas que también esta empresa es gordófoba. 
No me, pido hacer, no me puedo hacer uno como una vaca para representar a cualquier persona de mi comunidad. ¿Eh? Pregunto. Pregunto. No me puedo hacer a uno gordito para representar a alguno de vosotros. De los gorditos que estáis aquí. ¿Eh? close but let's like let's look at let's look at everything uh, okay here. You know, let's play here. around with some of these options <laughs> like really all right so what are we looking at with this option over here with the tab i see face stuff yeah so a lot of the different faces that you saw in the in the previous screen all those mm -hmm. faces are are choices that you have here so you can <coughs> now you're just kind of getting into the details in yeah. your face shape in your skin color um and then because we knew a lot of people going right in are going to want it right away. Even yeah. though it's an option later in the game, yeah. uh, you can collect different types of glasses, put them on later. Uh, we give you some options right up front if you want to have glasses for your character. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Look at the structure of the faces with this. Wow. You guys thought of every... I like that. I don't think my face is that skinny, but I think we'll go with that. I think we'll go that route. Uh, Pero y gordo! Here is this... Those are your glasses this there, gla yeah. Oh, so we started, we could, we could go Harry Potter if you want. Oh, so, yes. So. Oh, man. And this is just some of the options, I'm assuming? Yeah, uh, so through the course board. of the game, there's a, a lot. A ver, el mío llevaría lot. gafas de largo y tu callar. Different uh, options that you'll keep unlocking. Okay. So as part of kind of like gear for the character, there's lots of different classes. There's even masks. There's all kinds of things uh, over the course of the game. For... I like how it's all Victorian era, though. Yeah. 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 Such yeah. a good call. <laughs> Such a good call. Oh, my gosh. All right, so now... Oh my, oh, we can go fleek on this one with the hair. <laughs> oh. I spend a lot of time here just like dreaming about my different characters. And oh my gosh, the pony. I, the thing Está I'm guapo, always eh? amazed by whenever I see any aspects of Hogwarts Legacy's character creator is just the texture. And like you even adding the bounce with the hair moving around. Yo, that kind of looks like Hermione a little bit. <laughs> I'm not even gonna just show like Fred. I'm not Fred. And we can just go, can I go like Tonks purple or green a little bit? Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Yo. A ver, la customización de personaje es la típica customización de personaje. Tampoco tiene más. This is so cool. Oh, I love ¿Hay alguien de aquí que tenga el pelo de este color? Lo digo para echarle. ¿Hay alguien de aquí que tenga el pelo de este color? Para echarle. La gorda de Cecil tiene el pelo de este color. Que la ha hecho. Que me la bajo. That. That is cute. Oh, <laughs> okay. So, uh, little behind the scenes. I used to have this type of hair, like, way, way, way back. But it was it purple? <laughs> I wanted uh, silver tips, so that was the closest I got to any color. But, oh my gosh, this is so cool. So, you literally can bring yourself, like, it's, it's a myriad of textures and different Está guapo, la verdad. Here. Es una buena right, So Está now bueno. we're getting over here to uh, play around with some of the... These are more subtle options. Okay. We've got freckles, moles, um, different things like uh, when it comes to your complexion, <coughs> like darker eyes, mm -hmm. maybe mm -hmm. like some shading on the cheek. Ah, le puedes poner oh. lunares! Man, you guys Qué chulo. literally over. <laughs> El lunarcito ahí. <laughs> with this. Yeah, I do have a bit of fun with that. And then the scars are, are one of those options where Ooh! Harry had his own unique star, yeah. scar, but you can come in with Yours. different scar options. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Look at that. I didn't even see that. Oh, those are my favorite. The, the, the eyebrow scars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love those. Love yeah. those. Yeah. <laughs> you look kind of <laughs> like, classic. Yeah. You look kind of just like tough. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're over here. Oh, man. This, you guys. This is so sick. Está bastante chulo, está bastante chulo. Again, getting hola, more subtle hola, hola, here, hola, you know, hola. really like dialing in that face to, to <laughs> really... <laughs> you, you, bring, uh, you, you choose voice one or voice two, which is more kind of a ¿Tiene voces? feminine voice. And... Ooh, tiene dificultad. Y solo hay difícil. And even within that, changing your pitch, oh, with the... the pitch slider. Oh. It's a subtle slider, but, yeah. but you can hear it. That was quite something. And so you can kind of make out the differences. But yeah, you choose which kind of voice that you want. Uh, you'll be selecting your difficulty here. For today, we'll just go normal because okay. Andrew's going to be uh, Light gameplay. through some of the experiences with combat Balance later. gameplay. And we can talk a little more about difficulty. A demanding gameplay. Ah, yo voy a jugarlo en hard, extra hard, hyper hard, seguro. Difficulty, yeah, with, with combat and how that plays in. Le pones nombre, uh, last the, name. The important thing here is like if, if vale. for people 
What'd you think, character creator? We're good? I'm actually, right. Story mode is a way to get into this without... ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué diferencia hay entre Witch y Wizard? Bruja y mago. O sea, uno es bondadoso y otro es maligno. O algo así. Uno es bondadoso y otro maligno. Being worried about... What'd you think, character creator? We're good? I'm good. I'll let, yo, let's explore Hogwarts and let's get into some All right, through the magic of... Uh, Está jugando en la Play. Yo jugaré en Play o jugaré en ordenador. Va muy bien la Play, eh. Tengo que decir que la Play va muy bien. Pero seguramente vaya en PC. Pero la Play va muy bien, tío. En God of War va de puta madre, la verdad, eh. No cae ni un frame, tío. No sé si confiar más en la Play que, jugar, que confiar más en el ordenador, eh. Fíjate lo que te digo. Uf, difícil, ¿eh? Difícil. A ver, se supone que en, en ordenador lo voy a poder jugar a más de 60 frames. Por lo menos a 80, 90 frames, irá bien. El problema es, en el ordenador va a pegar más picos de, de lag, seguro, que en la Play. La Play va muy estable, de verdad. Por lo menos en los juegos a los que he jugado yo, la Play va muy estable. Mm, veremos, ¿eh? Veremos. Mucho lag, bueno, mucho lag no, muchas pérdidas de frames. Lag no. Bruja es mujer y mago hombre, sí. ¿Crees que crees que eh, pondrán eso? ¿Crees que pondrán eso? Al final. Ah, vale, yo pensaba que era maligno o, o, o bueno. ¿Sabes? Porque siempre se pone como al brujo como al malo y al mago como al bueno. ¿Sabes? Vale, vale. Using, using a dev kit, we're going to be loading up a, a save a little later in. Um, so that we can show you more about Hogwarts and give you that taste of combat. All right, Andrew's got some game wow. for us here. We are uh, starting out, James. There, there you are. Wow, los house. juegos últimamente están saliendo con unos gráficos bien cool, eh. O sea, últimamente los juegos están a buen nivel, la verdad, eh. O sea, se ven muy bonitos y muy bien. Fanatic robes. Uh, Muy bonito su the, the account linking. Thank you, thank you. I, I do look good. And this is our first look at the Hufflepuff common room, I'm assuming. Hufflepuff. I mean, dorm room. The dorm room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is awesome. But Alan, what are we, what are we seeing right here with the UI? Because this is our first look. Yeah. So um, right now we know there's been a lot of questions about uh, about about the HUD because this is the first time we're showing it. So um, kind of going over it from right to left. On the bottom right is what we call our spell diamond. Mm -hmm. So those are, everything that you see in it are slottable spells. So we have over 20 slottable spells that you can earn over the course of the game. Okay, okay. And, and that's where the player can place them and use them and access them very quickly. Um, to the top left of that is you'll see the D-pad and on the left is an eyeball and on the right is a bit of a grid. So uh, the eyeball is an example of one of, not a slottable spell, but what we call an essential spell. Um, there are certain spells that are used in very specific contexts Or, um, or that we just want on the controller at all mm -hmm. times. Mm -hmm. And Ravello is one of those. That's okay. left on the D-pad. On the right on the D-pad is that grid represents where you might slot spells. And so okay. right now, today, we're not going to be going into the spell slotting menu because we feel like there's a lot of spoilers there. You know, <laughs> like what are all the spells and what I, can we do? I would like spoilers, but I, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we do want to make sure there's still some goodies left to share with mm -hmm. everyone. And then uh, on the left side, that thing that has the L1 button next to it, uh -huh. that's another thing where we don't want Consumible. to spoil, but basically that's where you access your tool wheel. So there's a lot of magical tools that you're going to be uh, kind of brewing and growing over the course of the game. <laughs> and so that's where you would access them rapidly is our tool wheel. Está bien, es interesante. Um, there are a few things that I left Está off. Guay, la interfaz, es bonita. Exactly. Design. I, I, we could spend like the entire rest of the stream just in the common room here yeah. and talking about it. And I'm sure Boston and James could be like just <laughs> geeking out over it. this. All, oh, the, this all, all the details come from J.K. Rowling's writings for this common room. The round doors, the hanging vines, even the dancing badgers on the <laughs> it's fireplace. Kind of, it's kind of real earthy vines. Yeah, it's very, very earthy. Which is which is like elements for each of the houses, yeah, right? Like, wow, se ve muy bien, la verdad, el juego. Eh? Es brutal como se ve el juego. Earth, Ravenclaw's air, Gryffindor's fire, se ve muy chulo. Water. Wow. Tengo ganas de ver el combate, so, tío. Um, tickle that. Yeah. And the Wizards Field Guide is how, how you actually work on catching up with the other students. So, Andrew, if you hit pause for me up here, before you push forward a little bit, you can see in our pause menu, it's got this book theme. Wow. That's your Wizards Field Guide. And you can see your house kind of right, overlaid yeah. over it. Right? Okay, okay. And you can see that on your level as well. So that the gear. 
Me gusta. Field Guide has this magical property of looking out into the world around you. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's on loan from the Ministry of Magic and the professors so have cool. granted it to you as a late fifth year student is because they want it to help you catch up to the other kids. Mm -hmm. And it's that uh, the book itself kind of fills out into the school and spills out into the school mm -hmm. and kind of hides itself with different types of challenges and different things to do. Yeah. Oh man. Fast travel points there. House hourglasses. We had to. <laughs> I, I, how much fun was it designing those and putting all oh, those in gorgeous, there? But, but that they're they're just like in the books. Yes. Right next to the girl. Es muy interesante, la verdad. La pinta es muy, muy buena. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task. You may find a reward. This is the dark stones. They were. Quiero ver el combate. Enseñarán el combate. Throughout the game. Oh, come on. Is its own. And I. This. Uh, what we see on the top is the Accio spell, followed by four, what we just kind of lovingly refer to as basic shots. Um, <laughs> uh, there are certain spells that the wizards kind of like use, just kind of fling. Andrew's using one now. And you trigger that by tapping R2 on your controller. So you mm -hmm. can see in the corner R2. So if you tap R2, that throws out a basic shot. But that R2 is also your gateway to all of the, the uh, spells that you might slot. So if you okay. hold R2 instead, you can see how the diamond expands. Correcto. And if we let go, you see how it contracts. Yeah. And so if you hold it again, it expands. And so when it expands and all the spells that you slotted while you're holding that button can now be tapped with your face buttons. Awesome. And not only that, but over the course of the game... Vale, utilizan el R2 como el shift. Utilizan el R2 como el shift en el ordenador. Entonces, tú tienes el triángulo, el círculo, la X y el cuadrado que servían para esquivar, para, para, para utilizar, para hablar, para tal. Y luego pulsas R2 y tienes ese menú, que es el menú de spells. El menú de investigación, el menú de... Ataque de rasguño, el menú de ataque de, de Wingardium Leviosa y el menú de fumar Polonia. You can gain um, additional spell diamonds, up to four additional ones. Todo that... el mundo va a jugar Gryffindor. Todo el puto mundo va a jugar Gryffindor y mucha gente es Slytherin. Prácticamente nadie va a jugar ni Ravenclaw ni, ni Hufflepuff. O sea, la mayoría van a jugar Slytherin y Gryffindor. Yo probablemente juegue Slytherin. Tengo que decirte. Yo probablemente juegue Slytherin Pero no sé lo que jugaré A lo mejor me cambio al final Pero yo probablemente vaya a jugar Slytherin Ya veremos Ya veremos Pero yo muy probablemente vaya a jugar Slytherin you can slot up to 16 spells, you know, pretty much instantly. E Ese día lo, de, lo, de, lo definiremos um, de todas formas Lo pensaremos si lo... También things. tengo que deciros que depende De qué sitio en el que tú pilles Eh... Tendrás una historia distinta, unos rasgos distintos, tal. Eso también hay que mirarlo. Porque eso tengo que mirarlo a ver qué rasgos le ponen en el juego. Será RPG online, que yo sepa solo tiene cooperativo. Es un single player que tiene cooperativo, que yo sepa. No es online. ¡Grande Jotamanda, el nuevo bipardo del canal, el gordo! ¡Grande! Muchas gracias, Jotamanda, tío. Espero que todo muy bien. Muchas, muchas gracias. Vale, vas a hacer cosplay ese día Si voy a hacer cosplay ese día Es una buena pregunta, puede que sí Puede que haga cosplay ese día No lo sé No lo sé Y calla Very rapidly Yeah and and so you learn over the course of these events, you know, how to juggle not just the spell casting, but also it reinforces um, an understanding of another feature of the wheel, which is their cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So as you're casting spells, just to make sure that you're not just kind of like repeatedly using one thing over and over and right, over again, right. you can see cooldowns on the spells that he's using uh, on the wheel. And then as you progress through the game, there are different things that can affect things like cooldowns through your talents, uh, different things that oh, allow you to de golpes, like, no? juggle and adjust and, and wow. update those things. And so, if you hold down R R2 and you tap the D-pad, it will switch between your other diamonds, if you've unlocked them, and, and that's how you access all those. Oh, man. It looks like we're about to get some action over here. Yeah. So, this is, this is a great way to kind of learn how to... Está muy guapo esto. Cosplay de Hagrid. ¡Me cago en vuestra puta madre! Vosotros no tendréis que hacer cosplay porque soy literalmente Hagrid, pedazo de gordos de los cojones. Yes. Things together. Um, so you pull those combos right together. Here. Yeah. 
Tap, Accio, tap, tap, tap. Awesome. Well <laughs> Good done, job, Andrew. Andrew. <laughs> and that's just against the dummy, but I mean... Uh... Tienes un dummy para aprender combos, eh? Eso está guay. You look good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. I think now we can uh, we can take on something a little more challenging. It's going to shoot back. Uh, we're not. Um, if you see the people are going to, there are um, I'm forgetting the other one. All the sudden, control spells. Mm -hmm. And so those things for the player, uh -huh. they wind up also being a color indicator for which which actual spell to use to break the different shields that uh, enemies can use. That's that awesome. way it rewards kind of like that close right. attention that right. you're paying. Um, if you counter it. Uh, we're going to. Will. Yeah, wow. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap things up here. Mola, eh, que sea el mundo abierto así, eh. Está muy chulo eso. But uh, I, I, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, everything. Ya lo comentan nada más. Bueno, pues este era un poquito lo que había por encima, ¿no? En el 1755 se ve el exterior. Each other outside the great hall before and after meals. And I, I, I love the way that when the castle interconnects to uh, that it interconnects outside, inside, there, there are pathways on both sides of things. So you really get that guapo, eh? scope yeah. to, to how big this castle and, is. And when you see things like you, you'll notice a bridge over there. That's a place you can go to and cross. Like yeah. everything is everything that you see is a place that you wow, can go. Está muy wow. Chulo, la we tried so está a muy chulo. to make it feel really alive. Um, not just with la pinta but with es. Pero una pregunta: se desarrollará más fuera de Hogwarts, no? ¿O no? O sea, espero que tengas que hacer misiones por ahí, que vayas a otros pueblos y qué tal. O sea, no, yo no quiero estar metido en el castillo todo el puto día. O sea, supongo que será 50-50, ¿no? O sea, habrá muchas cosas que sean en el castillo, pero habrá muchas cosas fuera, me imagino, ¿no? O sea, se supone que este mundo es explorable. Todo. O sea, espero que sí. Vale.